Second films are always tough, but they're really tough when the success of the first film was thought to have come in large part through that film's freshness, boldness, and originality. Because that means with the sequel, it's nearly impossible for the filmmakers to give us both the same kind of fun experience that we got the first time around, as well as be found to be just as bold fresh and original. And personally, in much of the marketing for this second film in the Deadpool series, I felt like I was watching the filmmakers just struggle to rebottle the same lightning that they captured the first time around. So let me start off by saying I was pleasantly surprised by a lot of the newness found in this film, namely its often dramatic plot, sincere themes, and fresh faces. Really, none of the marketing dared to present just how sincere and often deadly serious this film's plot took itself. While the trailers, for example, were probably three quarters silly jokes and action sequences and one quarter, if that, plot, the actual film really did split it right down the center. Within the first 10 minutes, the writers revealed their willingness to go to refreshingly real places, which was something that they continue to do throughout the film, especially in the interplay between Vanessa and Deadpool and Deadpool and Russell. Did this mean that there was technically less fun to be had this go around? Sure, but for me, it was mostly worth it. At one point in the film, Cable said to Deadpool, we can't really live until we die a little. And that really did seem to be an idea that the writers themselves took to heart as they chose to, in one sense, sacrifice some of the lightness and joking to ensure that we, their audience, really were invested in these characters and the legitimacy of the story that they found themselves in. And it was that, more than anything, that gave this film its own unique voice. Speaking of Cable, the character was unfortunately given very little to do on the page, but Brolin was just so fittingly magnetic and the design for his character so visually interesting that I couldn't help but enjoy quite a bit his addition to the franchise. Another highlight when it came to the cast was Zazie Beetz as Domino. She just had such a great chill energy and provided such a helpful contrast to Deadpool and the others on the X-Force team. Speaking of characters that contrasted Deadpool though, I think my personal favorite remained Colossus with his disapproving big brother persona. The comedy itself in Deadpool 2, just like the first film, was, for me, a bit of a mixed bag. Ranging from genuinely hilarious, there was one specific beat in the X-Mansion as well as all of the end credit sequences that just had me laughing out loud, too kind of obvious and silly, to plain clunky and awkward. It should be said though, even in those moments that did fall flat in the comedy, Ryan Reynolds was always giving it his all. And that was the case in every scene he was in, whether comedy, drama, or action. You could just see and feel the investment and pride that he had in this character, and that really did serve the film quite well. Really, most of the elements that didn't work on this film came down to how they were directed. Now, don't get me wrong, comedy in particular is very tricky to direct. One beat too short and we the audience miss the joke, but one beat too long and suddenly the air is taken out of the punchline. And there were numerous moments that were just one or two beats too short, and a lot of moments that were one or beats too long. And a number of recurring jokes that every time, at least for me and my opening night audience, just fell flat. As already discussed, this film really was a pretty even mix between being a grounded, even earnest drama and a silly fourth wall breaking action flick. But while Tim Miller, the director of the first film, really did seem like he was able to balance those two tones, segueing back and forth between them quite successfully to create a cohesive whole, David Leach, the director of the sequel, just never seemed able to quite find that balance. The drama in Deadpool 2 often undercutting the comedy, and the comedy certainly undercutting the drama. Surprisingly, something else that was at least slightly disappointing for me were the action sequences. Now, of course, as would be expected from one of the directors of John Wick, as well as Atomic Blonde, Leech was able to pull off some rather impressive fist fight, sword fight, and gunfight choreography. But ultimately, he just seemed to come back to the same kinds of fights throughout the film, only in different locations. And he was certainly never able to find anything quite as visually interesting or elaborately choreographed, either in the stunts or camera work, as the freeway sequence from Deadpool 1. As far as this film's overall freshness, boldness, and originality, I also can't say that this film dared to do that many new things. Now, of course, there were absolutely moments that were daring, unexpected, and refreshing. Just wait until the beginning of the mid-film action sequence. But in the end, saying the F word a lot or calling out the lazy writing found in other comic book films only to later on do the exact same things just meant that I couldn't find this film to be the breath of fresh air that so many are hailing it to be.
And for all these reasons, I will give the film a three out of five. I would still love to know what you guys thought of the film though, so definitely comment below and let me know. And just out of curiosity, do you guys want a Deadpool 3 or do you want Deadpool to just have X-Force films from here on out? And also, what do you think is gonna happen to the character if in fact this Fox Disney deal goes through? I would love to talk about it in the comments section with you guys. Finally, please do subscribe. I'm going to continue to review films and television on this channel and I would love for you to stay up to date on all of those things. But for now, I'm Chris Hartwell. This is The Heartbeat. Thank you for joining me. Thank you.